And welcome back, guys, to another episode of City Skyline Sunset Harbor DLC. We are back here in the great city of Portsmouth Abbey, and we are actually looking at a port in Portsmouth Abbey. Hey, look at that. It's pretty cool. And now we're looking at a water tower. So let me hit that lovely escape button so we don't have to stare at that water tower. For today, I would actually like to build an entertainment district. And I know that that sounds really simple, but it could be a huge pain in the butt. So wh what I'd like to do is I'd like to build the entertainment district over here. Since we have a business district here, let's put an entertainment district in this area that's right next to us. So what we're going to first do is we are going to grab this large road and it's going to have a biking path. And we're going to drag that straight up to about 2400. That works pretty much perfect. All right, now let's grab a one-way road with one. No, not a trees. No, no, no. Okay, I guess we'll do the one-way road with trees. And we'll go out like this. We're going to go out a couple, go like this, and then end it. Okay, then we'll do that the same way, except I'm going to go the other direction. How far? How far was that? 360. So go 360 down. The thing is, is we don't want tr all the traffic from the stadiums to be all coming out this way. So basically, I want traffic coming out this way and that way. So we'll have two different places where traffic can go. So, oop, wrong button. So now I'm in the stadiums. Now we already have our football stadium. Uh, oh, it's now called an American football stadium. Okay, I think they, I think they changed that. But anyways, um, I'm going to put, ooh, the baseball stadium fits pretty perfectly right there. And then the other thing is, I think track and field would be a really interesting one. I honestly, if you guys have been watching my videos, um, I really don't put the track and field um, stadium in my in my city. So let's let's keep let's go with that. Now, as you can tell, there is a little bit of a height differential, but um, that should be okay. What we're gonna end up doing, anyways, is I'm gonna end up detailing all of this. So we won't really you won't really notice the streets in the way and whatnot And as I'm doing that I'm just putting some roads around our stadium, which is nothing too crazy, but and The reason why I put that little squiggle outside that stadium because the actual stadium um, Even though there there are some you know, you could see the empty oh, no. Even though you could see the like you could see the outline of the stadium right here, so the stadium does go that way still. Okay, so this is turning out pretty cool so far. Now I do want to add get rid of that rock. I don't know why that rock's out there in the middle of nowhere. But don't we have another stadium like looking building? Remember, this is an entertainment district, so we're trying our best. Okay, we already used the opera house, which I mean that's that's not really a big deal. We could add the aquarium. I'm going to add the aquarium up this way. Here's that. And then I think I am going to add the science center. But where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it there? But then the problem is, is I clog up. There you go. So again, this is an entertainment district. Oh, and before I forget, we need to actually add, this is going to be the entertainment district so we do need to add a district there we go now we can expand that if we want so not really a big deal and that looks fine for now honestly that looks fine for now guys I do, I do want to get the edge of that like see at the bottom the edge of that large road there you go perfect awesome all right and we do have this oh I didn't even realize this so we I we do have this large road that is that could possibly go out like this, but the problem is is the trains are in the way. So can we actually I'd like to move the trains if that's at all possible. So I'm gonna hit that pause button. Alright, now let's now we do need to replace those train tracks, so let's do that immediately so I don't forget. And uh, please remember in the comment section below, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment to this channel. You guys, we are almost at 300 
and 70 subscribers. So guys, pat yourselves on the back. You guys have been awesome at helping this channel grow. So I do greatly appreciate what you guys have been doing. And it seriously, I'm thinking about doing um, a giveaway soon enough. So just keep that in mind. You guys have been awesome. So I, I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. So thank you guys. So now that I got that out of the way, let's, all right, we have, so this is going to be our entertainment area. So we have that. I'm just trying to think of any other entertainment buildings we can place over here. We could put the Zagard Pyramid. That does not fit. Eh, that, that could be kind of like, you could see that off the side of the road. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's put that in. Oh, I'm sorry for the one thing I forgot to do district wise. Just label it the entertainment district. Uh, leisure, well, we call well, okay, it's the leisure specialization, but you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so let's add some leisure. By by leisure, I mean let's add some commercial. Now I do want to leave some of these. I want to leave room for a path for some of these. There you go. So now let's hit the field goal down the middle and let's move these paths right here. Beautiful. That one, ugh, that one's going in the middle. That's all right. So is that one. That's okay. We're, we're looking to build different buildings anyways. Um, what I also want to do is, it's not the most popular line in all of City Skylines, but I would like to add, oh, I can't put it that way. Okay, I, I'm going to put it that way. I, I'd like, I would like it snugged right against there. So I do have a pretty cool, I want to get out of that. I do have a pretty cool metro station lined up that looks perfect the way it is now what other things can we add to this little area to make it look cool now let's see here okay this is, i'm in the wrong section i want to be yeah i want to be over here so let's see can we add some of these different buildings like i'm going to add a restroom to this area I'm going to add, oh, can I fit it? Oh, that would have been so nice if we could fit a park cafe right there. I'm still going to place it right there, but it would have been really nice. And park info booth, I'm going to put that right in the middle because this is, again, we are in an area of the city where, you know, this is entertainment district. We might need, people might need to figure out where the heck to even go. Now let's add some tiles. These beautiful, beautiful, these, this is the city skylines, park life, park tiles. Nothing, nothing crazy guys. I know nothing too fancy. And we're not, we're not that fancy here in city skylines. I know this is very tedious work, but you know, it will look cool at the very end. So once it's all blended together, it will look pretty cool. And I'll try to speed that up so you guys don't get bored out of your mind. Just watch me place tiles. I would get bored too, so I completely get it. And just add one there. Okay, so let's add some tables. When I said let's add some tables, City Skylines, I meant the tables and not holding down the stupid tiles that I was just placing. So we'll put a couple of these over here. Beautiful. And we can add a couple of these buildings. Just was making sure that one was actually facing the right direction. That would be nice. So remember, we have a track and field stadium over here. We have the baseball stadium. So this is a good place for before the game. That looks pretty cool. Now, if we can also use a different tool, um, I believe brush size. So we can fill this in with concrete. So now see how, actually that looks a lot better than the tile. I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you guys. And I'm a little disappointed that I just thought of that now, <laughs> but, um, let's keep going and we'll add a couple more things over here. Um, I'm just trying to think of, I don't want to add a rock. Oh, I know it'd be a good one. I'm looking for the statue, the statue with the horse. Anybody in the comment section, I know I'm 
Oh no, we can add we can add a we can add a fountain actually. Oop. Oh, this is okay. No, I don't want the jungle gym. You know what? This is actually what I really wanted. <laughs> the horse the whole time. Can our mascot be whatever this thing is? Like, I know it's a guy and a horse, but what is it? What's its ex exact name? The rider statue. Oh, well, I guess that that really was not too entertaining. So I'm going to add a grill. I'm going to add a kiosk over here. Wow, that was not too entertaining of a name. I really thought it was going to have a better name than that. But that's all right. Let's add some benches over here. I actually really like the way this is turning out. Um, I had a slight plan in my mind of what I was going to do. And this, this turned out to be a little bit better. Whenever I'm making City Skylines videos, I always do have a small plan in mind. Sometimes I actually do recreate what I'm supposed to do beforehand, so I don't look like a complete moron when cr building this. But, um, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, not some YouTubers will just wing it. I can't wing it. I'm not even remotely close to smart enough to actually do that. So, yeah, that's my spiel about that. I am not. I am. Some people are really smart about it. I'm really not all right let's see what we could add over here park wise why do i always click the wrong park Ooh, that would have been cool since this is an entertainment district i mean we can technically put like the tennis courts now that's not a good spot for it but still i'm just saying in general since this is an entertainment district we can do that still so it's not like we're restricted by any means Let's put some tennis courts around here. There you go. And we can put a road around that too. Can we use the move it tool to move it over? We're moving everything a little bit over. Alright, let's see if that'll fit. Oh, beautiful. Don't tell me I actually did something right. Oh my god. Sports Monkey, you are not that smart to actually do that correctly. Wow. All right. We do want to add some offices in here too. So don't think it's just going to be low density commercial. So add some of the offices. I know I just added offices in the previous episode. But, you know, some of the office buildings do look really nice. And it's, an, and it's, nice, it's a nice little change of pace when you view some of these buildings. And they also don't create traffic, so that is also a positive. Cool. So, so far, so good. I'm in really liking this. So, what else can we add to this build that can actually make it look cool? So, I'm going to go back over here. We could have... There are generic parks that could actually fit the build pretty nicely. Like that water fountain one looks pretty cool. I actually... Hmm, that's not a bad idea to put like a generic park over here. I don't think a dog park would really work, but Oh, that would have been cool. That would have been really cool to fit that there. Oh, we are gonna need parking. Oh, I didn't think of that. Where can we build parking? Okay, that is one thing I did not plan for. I did not think of parking. I am adding some of these uh, city skylines uh, roads. Oh, no, I added the roadside playgrounds. Okay, I'm okay with the roadside pl playground, but not many of those. I was I was actually hoping it was the... There we go. The walkway with shops. There we go. That is actually what I was hoping for the first time I screwed that up, but that's all right. We'll add a couple of these. I really do like these. These are pretty cool buildings. Um... You know, they, they work out really, really well. Now, where's a good place for parking? Should we make a little parking area? So what I mean by that is, like, we'll, we'll actually have roads for it. Um, 
just around the parking lots. Let's see. Let's see if we could do it. If I could go straight out. Nope, it wouldn't fit. All right, so let's put a road around this, and then we will road around that. I want to put parking over here. That's why. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. No. Didn't go straight. We like to move it. Move it. We like to move it. Move it. That looks good. That looks good to me, guys. All right. Let's grab a road. We want a two-way road, but if we could split this right down the middle. No. No. It won't let us. Oh, how come it lets us do it there? Oh, God. City Skylines is weird sometimes. All right, let's grab... Let's grab a large parking lot. And I know I'm scrolling, and I'm probably... Yeah, I bypassed it like six times. It's all right. So this is going to be our little parking area. If I can move those up, that would be fantastic. That would be really excellent. But, you know what? There's that. Perfect. All right. We'll leave those there. Those are pretty in line with each other. Let's add some paths. There's that. And then let's go. Beautiful. All right. This works. So we'll have some area where people can actually walk around. I mean, this is an entertainment district after all, so, I mean, there is going to be some walking that's going to be necessary. Can we go down like this? Nope, we can't do that. Oh, we can do that, though. I'm on board with that. Beautiful. Okay, so that looks really cool so far. And what we could do, actually, kind of behind here. Oh, my God. I actually really like this idea. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Watch this. So I would like to... And I'm not sure why that was an Australian accent, by the way, guys. I, I don't know. All right. That turned out really ugly. Okay. Don't watch this. Take I take that back completely, guys. 100% uh, I take that back. Um, all right. So we're just going to go straight down the middle. All right. We're going to go this way. And then I just want a straight path all the way to the left. There you go. So we don't have to really worry about this commercial. We can actually get rid of these blocks because we have our modded, um, not residential. What is it? Modded shops. There you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, I'm going to detail that and we're going to make that into a park eventually. So, that will be pretty cool. I'm okay with that. Then if we can go up like that. No, go straight up. Nope, it won't let me. See, Skylines wouldn't let me do that. All right, so we're going to make this like a park area, which will look pretty nice. Really nice, actually. And we could do the same over here almost. And let's grab a path and just go all the way over here. And we're going to, like I said before, we'll just add some trees, we'll add some paths, and we'll, I'm going to detail this up later, so. There we go. And then let's connect that over here. I know this looks funky, I know, but you know what, we're trying, oh god, that looks horrifying. That, that, honestly, guys, that looked horrifying. I think we can all agree to that. There's... Oh, that looks so much better. There you go. Okay, cool. So, we will... I'm going to add some detailing to that um, shortly. I don't want to bore you guys with that. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to detail this up, and we will see the finished product, hopefully, sooner than later. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate all your support. And um, like I said, there's going to be a two-minute time-lapse, fast-forward time-lapse with the rendering, and it will 
everything should look detailed. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great rest of your day. All right, guys, welcome back. And this is what the entertainment district kind of uh, turned out. Um, it kind of panned out into something pretty okay. I did add some residential over here in order to support our entertainment and business district. What I did do was, um, as you can tell, there is way more. Wow, there's two Baskin Robbins in a row, but that's okay. <laughs> But um, overall, this entertainment district has worked out really well. I actually did something you guys are probably not shocked about. I did add the trams over here. So there are tram lines that go from our... Where does, it, where does this tram line actually start? I don't even know. The tram line basically starts over here in our leisure district, where in our tourism district, and it comes all the way over here. So... I, I complete honestly I brain farted on that one. So this is a pretty cool entertainment district in general. Um, see, look at these small buildings that panned out. Um, I guess I could add trees in between that, so uh, I could do that. But um, I didn't think of that until just now. But we have a lot of uh, what is that? We have a lot of gyms around here. Oh my god, we have gyms, a bowling alley. So a lot of these leisure buildings work out really well. Create a lot of foot traffic. Um, ideally, I would have liked to put the football stadium here instead of the track, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And this is just a really cool entertainment district. We do have parking around here. We do have a lot of everything pretty much filled in. And as you can tell, some of the the um, office buildings did fill in too. Um, I did add a metro line, which goes from here to the airport. So that is a really good line to use. And utilize uh, we what well, we do have a cool building that I have no idea what in the world that building is I've never seen that in my life but again residential is filling in so if you're at this part of the video and still watching what would you name the this entertainment district so thank you guys I, I truly do appreciate you guys watching this video um, if you have any other comments, um, anything you'd like to let me know about, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. And welcome back guys. So we are back in the entertainment district. If you're still with me, please let me know in the comment section below, uh, what you would like this entertainment district to be named. I would greatly appreciate a name of this entertainment district. If you guys, please let me know. I will you know, based on um, people's names and stuff, I will take into consideration your name and we can we can place your name in the, you know, uh, as the name of this entertainment district. So this is what I did, guys. Everything pretty much filled in pretty well. Um, our city center or our entertainment center area, uh, it, woo, it has a Hooters. Yeah, all right. Sorry, that was inappropriate. Um, we did, I did add the, the tram lines, as you can tell. I did add the metro station. The metro goes from here to the uh, airport. So that that is a pretty long line now. And everything in between has filled in really nicely. Um, we j I used this, the low density commercial buildings because look at we don't want giant skyscrapers around here. Um, and these smaller type buildings work out really well. And again, remember there are offices mixed in between. And oh, there is the Burger King. Nice. In and in and out. Ooh, that is our first in and out in the city of Portsmouth Abbey. At least that's the only one I've noticed so far. But um, anyways, everything's filled in really nicely. I did add in some residential that is filling in as we speak. And there's this giant tower right there. I have no clue what that tower is. I'm going to be honest with you guys. But 
Everything else has filled in. We're waiting for over here and over there, the two little squares to fill in. I did add this park, which fit in beautifully over here. So it did add that park and we're just, for the most part, everything's filled in pretty nicely. So I have no complaints here. So please let me know in the comment section below what you would like me to name this entertainment district. Um, and I think this worked out pretty perfectly. So I didn't even click out of that. Okay, that was weird. But um, please let me know in the comment section below what you'd like me to name it. I truly do appreciate everything you guys have been doing for my channel and for myself. So please let me know in the comment section below what I should name this district. And let's keep on growing this channel. Have a great rest of your day, guys. I truly do appreciate it.